Okay, so this is test two of live streaming a walk. Um, I am going to be walking a short, short distance today. Uh, this is testing out a new um, app called Prism, which allows you to stream to more than one source at once. So <clears throat> I'm currently walking up Scarth Street. And then I'll be walking home from here. So over here is, uh, we have a condo here, which is why I'm here. This is the site of Central Collegiate once upon a time, but these condos were built about the time we got married. There's uh, three condo buildings and we live in one of them. Or we lived. We don't now, but we still have the condo. This is a little different. Last time I just did this Facebook Live, so I'm, uh, I'm experimenting here. Doesn't matter if you watch or not, but you know, if you are, welcome. It's nicer day today. Again, a gimbal is what I will need if I do this. I'm gonna turn down 15th here. to start doing this on a regular basis once I get you know maybe some better equipment there's going to be wind noise because we need an external mic to kind of avoid that I found when I tested it the other day on a longer walk that it made the walk go by quickly which is kind of nice watch out for the puddles it's been above freezing the last few days so the snow is dwindling well, rapidly although I suspect there is still snow in our future They're all one-way streets down here. I know there's lots of walkers on uh, YouTube and thereabouts that don't talk when they do it. I don't know if people think I'm recording or if they think I'm watching something on television as I walk. <laughs> Okay, I still have to be careful here on the, on the road. Lots of ice, especially here in the shade. Have to watch out for. I'd love to stream to uh, YouTube, but I don't have nearly enough subscribers to allow that, apparently. So, I might... Uh, go live to Facebook, and right now I'm also testing Periscope. Um, and then upload to YouTube for those who are just dying to accompany me on my walks. At the moment, nobody is watching, so, you know, it leaves me free to say whatever I want. Sounds like a fire truck somewhere. Up in the grass here to avoid the ice. I guess it's a nice sunny day. So this was all inspired by a fellow called Walking Commuter on YouTube who uh, walks around Manhattan. I thought, well, I do a lot of walking. Why not walk and chat and, you know, it's sort of like having company on a walk. Again, a lot of walkers just don't talk, which would be even easier, I suppose. So we're currently walking west on 15th here in Regina, Saskatchewan.
and just came out of a restaurant we passed. Again, a gimbal is what you really need to minimize the camera motion. I have a birthday coming up. There's always a birthday coming up. Father's Day is coming up. Maybe I'll get a gimbal for Father's Day. Only I could get a Macy's to go with it. Ha ha And if you do pop in here, oh, this looks like I better pay attention to what I'm working on. It's always in the shade that it gets you, because it's still below freezing in the shade. Oh, this is really quite bad. Well, let's be really careful. I said yesterday, or the last time I did this, this isn't tumbler, so I prefer not to take a tumble. It is Facebook, but I'd like to keep it as Facebook and not as face plant, which is another definite possibility. Yes. So we're coming up to Albert Street here, which is the, the main drag here in Regina, Saskatchewan. One of them. Runs north to south the entire length of the city. Or height of the city, I guess, if you're looking on the map. And again, if you did happen to just pop in, this is just a test. Uh, there's an app called Prism that I'm using which lets you stream to multiple platforms at once. So this is my test of that app. If this were an actual walk, <laughs> you'd get pretty much the same thing. Uh, no, this is a long light to have to wait for, so maybe I'll go down a corner to another corner. We'll go down to the corner down here. Nope, this is, you know, not, as I keep saying, walking commuter who walks around Manhattan is the inspiration, but Bhutan is not Manhattan. Although that building right there, the brick one, original Saskatchewan government telephones building, the tall one behind it was the second telephone building. The telephone building's now downtown. And uh, that's now used by the Royal Saskatchewan Museum. Two years ago, there was a big story about uh, a fossil that had been found in, in amber. And uh, it's right there in that building, or at least it was. It may be in the museum proper now, which is kitty corner to it up here. I've been in there. I know somebody who works there. Got to go in and kind of see the labs. It was cool. Being the sciencey geek type I actually am. You know, I decided to focus on writing instead of science. So I did science writing for a long time and still do. And science fiction, of course. Okay, oh good, I managed to just miss this light too. This is the corner of College and Albert. And the actual museum right over there. The Royal Saskatchewan Museum. It used to be called the Museum of Natural History. Well, it still is a Museum of Natural History. Oh, that's not going to beat that me, but it'll work in here. There's Albert. The street, not the person. And the other way. And there we go. Oh, 
think I'm getting more camera motion today than I did the other day. I don't know why. It's just feeling more wobbly, maybe. I don't know. So we're on college. This little stretch of it is one way. Just, I think just before I moved to Regina, the late 80s, they changed that intersection back there to stop cars from coming off of Albert down this way because there's a school up here, which my daughter went to, Davin School, that uh, they were trying to slow down the traffic. So It's always been like this as long as I've lived in Regina, but I remember, I think the change came just before I got here. Now, you're probably hearing that wind noise that I hope to do something about better equipment. Right now, you may not even be able to hear me talk. For anyone who happens to be watching. Okay, over here, this is Angus Crescent now. We'll walk down this side. I don't know. One side gets the sun at one time, one side gets the sun at the other time. Yeah, and you have to watch out for puddles. So, Angus Crescent, there's three crescents here. Leopold, Angus, and Kanad is a half crescent, interrupted by Davin School. We live on Angus Crescent, where my wife's grandparents bought a house in 1939, which we still live in, which we live in. Not still, I haven't lived there all that time. It's been in the family since 1939. This neighborhood was named one of North America's best old house neighborhoods a few years ago. Although houses do keep going down and new ones coming up. The good ones, like this one across the street, match the neighborhood really well. And there's some that are a bit more out there, but one or two of those in the neighborhood is okay but you hope that it keeps the character that it has now. One thing I might do with this is a few years ago, I wrote uh, historic walks of Regina and Moose Jaw. So I may do those historic walks and record them at some point, maybe this summer. Stavin School over there. That's okay. Hello. Again, got to watch out for the ice, and in that case, dogs. Haven't fallen down yet. So, you see some of the old houses along here. These big old elm trees. We lose one or two. Since I've been around here, we've lost two or three. They're kind of at the end of their natural lifespan, and of course, the big concern is Dutch elm disease, but so far, occasionally a tree will show up with it, but it hasn't taken hold. My dad grew up in Coffeyville, Kansas, and he can, all the big old elms they had there were all lost to Dutch elm disease a long time ago now. I haven't been there for years. I don't know what it looks like now. Very nice today. Probably about plus six, something like that, Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius, <laughs> not Fahrenheit. Should you be joining me from somewhere not of the metric religion. <laughs> Again, very short walk, almost done. Just a test. I've seen, you know, a few viewers popping up from both Periscope and Facebook, which is where it's going this time. I know, like I said, I'd love to stream it to YouTube, but apparently I don't have enough viewers, enough uh, channel subscribers for that. 
There are a bunch of other ones I could stream it to. I don't have accounts on them though. I might look into some of them. Okay, and that's, uh, that brings me home, so. Oh, thank you for joining me on my short experimental walk. And uh, check back, I'll probably do this again.